This is Paul, right? <laughs> I'm going to have to download that day calculator. Yes, I'll probably do it here in just a moment. Yes. Now, just looking at it, yes, he was 12 years old in the fifth grade. Yeah, he was 11 years old in the fourth grade. Yeah, 10 years old in the third grade. Yes, uh, nine years old in the second grade. Yeah, eight years old in the first grade and seven years old in kindergarten. <laughs> How many children are old in kindergarten and seven years old? He's in the wrong grades. Now, for all of his teachers, yes, and all of those in the Squim School District, yes, as well as the police departments, right, I'm going to have to obligate my sons to give back every award that they've received since their mother kidnapped them. <clears throat> and then for each and every one of these institutions that they've been involved in, yes, where you said, well, we don't have to enforce our rights right now. I will sue every fucking one of them. <clears throat> that has the legal obligation, right, to make sure that the competitions are fair among all the children, yes, mm -hmm, that are competing. Now, as law enforcement, yeah, when you reissue the, the minute order, yes, while I was on trial for the allegation of violating this, yes, I would say that it violates due process rights of myself and my sons. Oops. And then look at here, the order for support. Yes, the state of Washington receives an order for support, for child support. Poop. That is, I was reading the laws, yes, has been converted mm -hmm. to an actual federal debt of the United States government. Poop. Now, let's say that government just doesn't want to enforce the laws. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm going to try to download one of these date calculators. Yes, mm-hmm. Um, just so you know, Google, I want to show you something that's probably very frustrating to you. But every time that the government pays for a phone, yes, that um, you have to have all the shit on it that you put on it, Google. Yes. Um, they have in the settings. Yes, yes, yes. I think this is very important for all of those poor welfare recipients that get so tired of their phone doing this. <laughs> Now, uh, in the settings, yes, mm -hmm. they have what's known as auto-update apps. Yeah, I put don't auto-update the apps. Oh, oh, now most people would say over Wi-Fi only. Yes, but my thought is since all of these apps came with the phone and I had nothing to say about them, yeah. every time that you used up bandwidth right now, pooch, I'm suing Alphabet for X number of billions of fucking dollars. <laughs> Just give me all the Android phones that you say that I have to go. It's not a bundling issue. No, it's not. It's that you agreed to provide the operating system. Yes. So individuals could use. Oh, look at here. I deleted so much stuff off this phone when I reset it. I have 758 megabytes available. Yes, yes. Now, just so you know, okay, uh, Google Chrome hasn't been updated. TouchPal keyboard hasn't been updated. Yes. The cloud print wasn't updated. The maps wasn't updated. Yes. Gmail wasn't updated. No. No. Google wasn't updated. Android accessories was not updated. Google Play was not updated. Google Street was not updated. No. Hangouts was not updated. Google Text wasn't updated. No. Google Play Movies was not updated. Clicks R News was not updated. No. And then the Clicks RX, RX Savings wasn't updated. Yes. Now, when you put that many programs on the phone, you would be surprised how fast you run out of memory when you constantly are updating all the programs. Why don't you get me all those low-income individuals that did not realize that the reason they have no memory... <laughs> you know, fucking that 